Well, this is one way to wash your vehicle. Just let it rain. Just let it rain. Got a little dirty from mowing the grass yesterday and bailing and then wrapping. I did get that done kind of early, so I spent the rest of the afternoon just relaxing and I tried out something. Um, yeah, the bailing trailer. I sold it. I just, it just wasn't working for me. What I mean, it works, but it wasn't working for what I have here. So I got it for $3,500. I took a little bit of a hit, but um, they did add in this little doohickey thing right here. It's a, it's a nice little meter here. I can go ahead and test the ground. It'll tell me stuff about the grass, uh, the moisture, all that good stuff. But the key thing is, because, you know, I told him I was doing silage bales. If we go ahead and check on the grass bales right now, I got about another day to go before this is a full silage bale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rent a trailer. They do have trailers there for round bales. Um, I don't want to call it an auto loader, but uh, yeah, I'll pick them up. It'll load them up. And uh, we just got to bring over to the BGA right over there. Uh, so we'll be dropping those off possibly tomorrow. And uh, yeah, but you can see the grass field here is is already starting to grow back. Although I do have some weeds popping up. I'm not a big fan of the weeds, but they are showing up here apparently. Um, but I do have a job today. Yes, I have a job to cultivate, but since it's raining and we can see the forecast, it's supposed to clear up a little bit uh, some point today. The one thing I'm gonna to start today is soil sampling my grass field because if I can get a better yield out of the grass, that's gonna be so much better. So the soil sampler, I have used before and it should be up at the store ready to go for us so let's go ahead and pick that up so I'm gonna start with soil sampling the grass field this morning shouldn't take too long they'll send the samples off we'll see if my field needs lime slash fertilizer I'm pretty sure it needs a little bit of both but I mean if I can get like 50% more yield off that grass field that would be huge very very huge now as for the grass hedgerow or I don't want it's the grass field, the hedgerow. Uh, yeah, I, I want to take some of it down, but I don't know if I, I, know if I want to take all of it down. So I'm thinking about taking just a little bit, of, little bit of it down. I also spent some time last night looking at some sheds. There is a rather cheap shed out there, and some I could definitely afford. But uh, that would really, really cut us close on on the cash flow here. I'm sitting at five thousand. Um, yeah. I, I, Mr. Withers has not really given me much work to do other than just maintain the animals from here and there. So not much to do up there. So I won't be getting paid much from him for the summer hours, but when fall comes and it's time for harvest, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll have enough to do there. Probably not too many days worth. I mean, he's only got two fields I know of. Let's go ahead and hook that up. Got that ready to go. There, we are all set. Let's go soil sample our grass field. Send those samples off and um, yeah, well, probably won't cost us too much to lime slash fertilize it. It's not that big of a field. I do have the spreader for it. So I'll save us. I just have to go buy the material, which is not far from us either. So that's good news. But uh, good old Sally, she hooked me up with a cultivating job up behind Mr. Withers field that we've been working in actually. So Thank you for her for getting me a job today. I'll bring in a couple thousand dollars. Oh, and I did get a text back from Justin. Justin sold his car and his condo. They've been enjoying where they've been vacationing so much, they decided to move there. So, uh, I mean, he's kind of glad to know that I got a place to stay and all that. But, yep, that's why his car is gone, and he apologized for not getting back to me as soon as he could, just that he's been so busy with realtors and buying a condo out there all right so here we are time to soil sample our grass field let's go ahead and unfold that Oop, lower it down and we'll grab a soil sample so this only should take me a, a little while this morning not too long by the time I send these samples off and uh, maybe go have breakfast, maybe, just maybe, the rain will have stopped. Now, the equipment uh, I'm going to be using, from what I've been told, is going to be like a John Deere. That's all I know. I don't know as for what other equipment. 
uh, I'll be using. I mean, I'm cultivating a field, so it's going to be a cultivator, but that's all I really know about it. So hopefully I get these samples back kind of at a good, uh, in like in a day or two, because this grass seems to be growing rather quick. So maybe in like three or four more days, maybe I'll be able to mow the grass again. I should stop and ask Mr. Withers, though, about, because they, they were mentioning about getting some cows, and so I don't know if I should start stockpiling up some silage bales or not. But the first set, since he doesn't have cows, and I know I'm going to be able to mow the grass again this year by the looks of it, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sell these silage bales and bring in some cash. I was looking at some other land right across the road there there's two grass fields up there but man they are way out of my price range way out of my price range unless something drastically happens I'm not sure um, but I should get a hold of the owners to see if they want me to ever make bales out of it or maybe I could lease the land and mow the grass myself if they don't do nothing with it if they have nothing to do with it and they just have an empty grass field, well then I can pay them a little bit of cash. And then I can go up there and mow the grass, bale it, and wrap it. Although it does take a little while with the baler and wrapper that I have to get the process done, but I'm kind of excited to see when I deliver these to the BGA how much cash it'll actually bring in. Go ahead and get one in the corner. I thought about expanding this grass field a little bit more. But as of right now, I'm not too sure. I really need to think of long-term plans. But, you know, expanding, expanding the grass field is not a bad idea. If I do decide to put a silo in or something, I could always just, well, you know, get rid of the grass field and put it in, in a silo or what have you. But what would I need a silo for? I need fields to harvest. And that means harvesters, seeders, more fields. So I'm a long ways from that. So expanding this grass field is not a bad idea. Just that I think I need to get myself settled here. A lot has happened here in, the, in, in just a short time I've been here. Just a few more soil samples here in the field. And I think I'm all set with that. But I think I'm going to take a couple on the other side of the hedgerow to plan for the future. That way at least I'll have the soil samples. That way if I do expand this field, which I'm like 90% sure I want to, I'll have some samples to go ahead and go by, but I don't know how true of a sample it will be. This mirror in the TA is perfect. I can kind of see what's going on with a soil sampler. I've been going by the little screen on my phone. It kind of gives you a guide of roughly where you've been on the GPS. It can kind of show you the area that it can cover with the app that comes with this thing. So I'm not sure if this will technically work because it's not a field right now. get a little bit more over here but I do, would like to expand this grass field this a little bit more I mean I'm kind of excited how much money I may be getting oh and I probably should tell you that was like 30 I think it was 33 bales that we have and I'm making 33 uh, grass bales which will definitely be silage here in the next day or so Right, and that don't, don't need to go any further because that's my entryway into the yard. Let's go ahead and lift that up. Fold that on up. And we'll bring that back to the shop, send the samples off, and hopefully within a day or so I'll need to find out how much lime and fertilizer to put down. Oh, I just know I don't know when the rain stopped, but uh, I was so focused on soil sampling, the rain has stopped, so. This is going to work out well. I think I'll stop 
at the vehicle store first, drop this off, drop off the soil samples, and then head on down to see Sally again, grab maybe a couple granola bars or something like that, and then head on up and uh, go look for a John Deere with a cultivator attached to it and get to work. So here we are in Mr. Withers' farmyard. And as mentioned before, the sheds are now gone, which seems kind of odd. Uh, just like that one over there. They got the combine now parked under that shed over there. Kind of weird. But I have been up here taking care of the animals for about maybe half an hour or so. So the money is down now down to 700 because, well, soil analysis uh, does cost some cash. Hmm. I knew it was going to be four grand, but um, ouchie, ouchie. It just, you know, makes me a little nervous now, down to 700. But I'm going to get paid for doing this job here today. But, oh man, the rain is going to come back, apparently. Oh. So hopefully I can get this job mostly done before the rain comes back. If the soil gets too wet, I'm just going to have to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't want it to get too wet up here. Um, there's another field entrance over there. I don't want to block that one, so I'm going to park my T8 right up over here. I wonder how much a cultivator would cost me. That could be like my next piece of equipment, because a lot of people seem like to have their fields cultivated around here. Alright, let John Deere warm up for a second. The 8400R is what we'll be using. It looks like we got the Lemke all set to go. Just making sure all the hoses are attached. Attached to the pin. Yep, we are in pretty good shape there. Let's go ahead and get into the field a bit. I don't want to damage my tractor. This thing's nice and wide. No GPS in the tractor though, that kind of, that kind of sucks. How long of a field is this though? I didn't think this job would take me too long because I just came up and saw how wide the field is. I saw how wide the cultivator was, which is pretty darn wide. So I'll have to kind of like stare, pick a row of crops and just kind of stare at it. I say, am I doing okay here? Oh, well, that's almost perfect. All right, stare at the crop in the ground and just try to keep a straight line and see how long a field this actually is. Probably go cross-eyed from staring at this for too long. So if I get this done today, the farmer said he'll pay me like three grand, depending on my performance. So, after I get done, I'll go ahead and give them a text and let them know I'm done. And they'll come out and just have a quick look. And they said, I'm done, just uh, park the John Deere and the cultivator back where I found it. But the word's getting out. They're hearing I'm doing some good work around here. So, uh, hopefully other farmers will occasionally give me some work. As for Mr. Withers, I do want to stop back there. Because um, I haven't spoken to him for to them in a while, Mr. Withers, anyways. See what's going on. I'm kind of curious. I know that he said he wanted to expand his farm by getting new equipment and all that. And I really haven't seen much change since I've been there. Yep, starting to go a little cross-eyed staring at the crop in front of me, making sure I stay in a straight line. I'm pretty sure I have veered off a row or two. Okay, this field is longer than I thought it was. But really, it's not going to take me too long. I just like to get the job done before, hopefully before the rain comes back. But hopefully if the rain comes back, is this a light drizzle. So, yeah, yesterday making 33 bales, and if my calculations are right, it's $600 per bale. So, that is going to be a lot of cash. 
Now, from my understanding, the way the BGA does kind of work around here is you bring the bales in, um, they'll process the bales, and then the money will be transferred sometime overnight, which I'm fine with. I don't have a dire need for money. He says staring at the $715 in his bank account. I do have to remind myself, though, at the end of each season, I do have a $2,000 payment. But I would like to, at some point, is to pay extra on that principal of the payment. Because that is just, uh, I'll never get caught up if I uh, just pay $2,000 per season. But I am thankful for the bank to give me a loan like that. Very much appreciative. But, uh, yeah, this John Deere seems to be the, the 8R. Is this the 8R? Yeah, I think it's the 8R. 8400 8R. It's doing pretty well hauling this cultivator. RPMs are staying well. The speed seems to maintain. Maybe someday I'll have a whole fleet of tractors that can haul the, the heavy stuff because there are some pretty good sized fields around here just that they are kind of expensive but I do need to get a hold of the owners of the grass fields across oh uh, that's not good I think I nicked that tree over there and the tree's a little bit into the field hopefully it didn't damage nothing I better give a little bit of leeway on that side for now But, um, yeah, hopefully I can maybe lease that land for this year and maybe bring in a whole bunch of cash because those fields are huge. Huge, huge, huge. Did not quite make it to the end of the field before the rain came back. When it first came back, it was just a light drizzle. And now, it's a heavy downpour. And it's been a heavy downpour for a little while. I've had to get, got to get out of the tractor a couple times to get back there to the cultivator. The dirt is starting to clump up in there. Luckily, I'm on my last pass. I just want to get it done. I got a couple little spots here and there where the cultivator just uh, lifted off the ground high enough to where it didn't cultivate. But I think it's going to be good enough. Got one little strip there. Not a big deal. I'll just swing back here and take care of it. But well, overall, just about done here, which is good. Um, I did get a text message from the soil sampler. I think uh, my analysis is already done for the field. Nothing I'll be able to do today because, well, it's just, it's just raining. And I don't, I'm not sure if I want to put the lime and fertilizer down with the silage bales out in the field because they're covering the ground a little bit. So if I were to spread it, you know, it'll bounce off the bales and it may not go exactly where it needs to go. I can wait another day, not a big deal. But definitely need the cash from this job here today down to 700 because I need to lease that baling trailer tomorrow to pick them on up and bring them to the BGA. And after we do that, yeah, I should have a decent amount of cash in my hand and hopefully to be able to just do some things. I Like I said, I also want to get a hold of the people that own the field across the road from us. They're both grass fields, so hopefully maybe I can work them this year. Um, I mean, there's two ways I can do it. I could either do the work for them, but I think better off if I can find a way to lease the field, and that way I can get the bales outright and just have to pay a one-time fee for, you know, taking the grass off the field. That's what I would like to do. 
there's that little strip done. Let's go ahead and lift up the cultivator, fold it on in, and get off the field before I get stuck in it. I think if I park it right here, I want to make sure I leave that entrance open. I don't know who owns that field. It might be the same farmer. But I am off this field here, so I think we're all good. Yep, we're all set here. Everything looks fine. Yeah, I think I'm all set to go. I'll send the farmer a text in just a little while saying I'm done cultivating the field. But let me turn around here. And I'm going to swing in back to Mr. Withers' farm just to check on a couple things. Knock on the door. See if anyone's there. Just got done double checking on the animals. Make sure they're topped off with water and food. But they're all set. Actually, let me turn the tractor off just in, just in case he's here and he wants me to do some work. Let's go ahead and uh, give the door a little wrap. Not sure I like standing out here in the rain too much. I don't mind if it's a drizzle, but this is a downpour. Let's try it again here. Oh, hello. I'm looking for Mr. Withers. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Withers. That's my father. Hello, my name is Sherman. Sherman Douglas. 